All right, so today I'm going to show you how to use a site called Udemy combined with ChatGPT automation to build passive income streams with courses. So I'm going to show you why I'm qualified to teach you this. All right, so this is the core pla course platform name Udemy. But before I show you the two niches you can do this in, let me express to you a problem that people were having. People were telling me that uh, AI voices were not getting accepted on Udemy, so they weren't able to make money with it. So we're going to fix that problem today. But before we proceed, how am I qualified to show you how to sell courses? Let's come over here. So this was an account that I created. Uh, this is a NetSpend account. And in um, the beginning of February or somewhere in the middle of February, I launched a course called Asset Empire Bootcamp. You can still get in that. You can't get in the bootcamp, but the course is available. All right. So it was around twenty five hundred for the bootcamp and two thousand for the uh, just the course itself. OK, no extra promotion. I didn't collaborate on anybody else's stuff. I didn't buy any ads or do any email marketing or anything like that. Uh, but we still brought in the following. Look at this. This is just one of the pages. All right. So this is for February. So 18K came in. Now, keep in mind, I did not do any promotion and I got a tiny channel. So I know what I'm doing. And then we come over here. So this is the next month. A little bit more was still coming in over here. Now, then we're going to come to this other account. Quick glimpse. That's Navy Federal. So, yes, this is real. Let me stroll back up real quick. All right. So what came in over here? All right. So as you can see right here, around 13K came in around uh, that first month. OK, so around 13 K in this first month. Then we come over here the next month. As you can see, the balance was around 43 K. And then not to mention, majority of the sales came through the freaking cash app. So we have a lot of more sales that came in through the cash app and we charged 2,500 for the boot camp. Uh, I think around 18 to 20 something people got into the boot camp. That was 2,500. And then um, as far as just for the course, I think it was like 26 people that just bought the course or whatever or something like that. I, I can't remember the numbers. But as you can see, this is real. This is the money right here. OK, so now I didn't show you that or anything like that to rub nothing around. It's just because there's a lot of people um, trying to give advice, but don't know how to make money with what they're giving advice about. So now I can close all that out. And uh, you should definitely pay attention if you want to figure out how to make money with courses. So check this out. This is Udemy right here. So remember, the issue was uh, they people don't want to be on camera. Also, Udemy does not want you to upload with AI information, spokespeople or some crap like that. Right. OK, so guess what? This is what you do to solve that problem. You find niches that don't require people to be on the camera. You find niches that don't require, uh, uh, you know, you to be like certified or, or, or stuff like that. OK, because a lot of people were talking about like, what if you're giving out the wrong information and somebody gets hurt? Fine. Find more uh, uh, opinionated, uh, philosophical, less factually based courses and interests to go into. OK, for example, the first one I'm going to show you right now is this one It's called numerology. So I don't believe in none of this crap right there and nothing like that. But we're just using this as an example. OK, and if you don't think people pay attention to this crap, then <laughs> look at this one right here. So as you can see, this one got uh, 610. This one has 853. And if you click on them, it actually has more. So I'm going to click on it right now. Open it up now. Look at this. Three thousand eight hundred and thirty one students has taken this course since 2020. Then it was another one that I saw, which was like four thousand something. And they opened that one up at around 2021 or something like that. And the prices fluctuate. Sometimes it'll be low. Sometimes it'll be high. So these people, the point is. This is passive income. They created the course one time, plugged it onto these uh, platforms that have um, uh, these platforms have algorithms. So you don't even really have to do much marketing or outreach yourself. People will find it through this search engine right here. So the good thing about using GPT um, and other little AI bots and situations to create the content is you can do this in mass, but you do want to make sure you're not putting out crap. So you do want to do your homework. You do want to make sure everything is good. So how would you go ahead and create something like this? 
is very easy. So it says, learn from Lloyd how to read a person like a book. All right. So he didn't keyword stuff, but he put the, you know, in the subheading numerology course, right? Then it says what you will learn. All right. The best thing you can do is you can open up the course content. You can write, you can copy this course. Ah, Jesus. Uh, course overview, power of your name, laying out the name. Okay. Meaning of numbers. Um, table of traits. Uh, and as you can see, if you drop it down, it will give you an explanation of what it's talking about. So then you just open up GPT. Okay. Watch this. I'm, I'm just showing you a little bit before we go to the next niche that I found for you guys. Me, I would use GPT-4 because it'll be less errors or, or anything like that, more accurate information. And then just in case you think this course has to be all long and like a college course or something, as you can see, this is only 1.5 hours of video time. It's nothing. So you can churn these courses out and flood the algorithms. But like I said, make sure you're putting out quality content. All right. So now, like I said, you can take this. All right. We go over to GPT. All right. I... I'm creating a course on numerology. The following is needed. I need a course overview, overview first. And then we just take that R. We don't really even have to pay attention to that course overview because he pretty much gives us this. Okay, so the power of name. Okay, lesson one is getting to know the power of your name. Okay, so we'll just take this and we'll say, rewrite the following. Now we're telling it to rewrite the following. Okay, so it's rewriting it, and then we're gonna say, okay, now using, using that information, create the first lesson of the course. All right, so here we go. Look at this. So it's creating that. So basically what you'll do is you'll come back through here and you'll just get all of the lessons. Now, you want to make sure GPT is not just copying other people's course information from from the web. So what I like to do is I tell it to stop. And then I'll say rewrite lesson one, but write it in the uh, uh, mindset of a beginner. Also, use metaphors and analogies to emphasize major points. Okay? Also, uh, reference popular public figures or celebrities in your examples. Now, this will give it a little bit more credibility and a little bit more entertainment, uh, you know, based off of how we just gave that prompt right there. So now you'll know for certain that it is not copied, is not duplicate content. Uh, GPT-4 is not just going out there and just copying somebody else's course content or whatever. So just to re recap, we took the names we took that course outline but we're not taking the exact content all right so we got the outline the outline the outline but gpt4 is creating completely new content for lesson one so you'll just do that one by one until you're at like number 10 and chances are you'll be uh left with a better course than this guy right here and like i told you before GPT, I mean, not GPT, Udemy is going to use their algorithm to suggest you make sure that you give a very good title. You know what I'm saying? Something that's catchy to uh, people that's looking, right? So what is numerology about? This person was very smart. He knew that people wanted to know numerology for specific reasons. So instead of just calling it a numerology course, like most people would do, one of the benefits of the numerology, I'm guessing, would be how to read a person. All right. So like, oh, numbers and 
all of that extra stuff that people are interested in, like that'll help you read a person. So find niches like this that are opinionated, not fact-based. Then you don't have to worry about, oh man, if GPT give the wrong information, I'm not an expert in this. What does somebody get hurt? What are they getting in trouble or something? So, okay, well, don't go in those niches then. Go in niches where it's, it's okay for people to have an opinion or give their experience or something like that, right? All right, so now, and why am I doing this? Because this is an anti-job university where we teach entrepreneurship through asset ownership so that you can one day be rich enough to ownership instead of just being so broke, you can only afford a ticket on a ship. So courses are passive income, uh, you know, they're assets, so once you create a course, it's a digital asset. You can put it on multiple platforms that have algorithms. Udemy, uh, Linda, um, uh, what's the other one? Teachable and, and all of those situations, you put your assets on there and their algorithms will suggest you, you can start getting a little bit of money. Of course, you can't choose the price for real, for real on these platforms, which is why you still want to have your own hub or site or something where you can charge what you want. Um, but or guess what? You can use this. You upload like a edited, uh, uh, teaser version of the course on here. This will get you traffic for free. And as they come into the course and test it out, you know what I'm saying? You have a link for them to go to your actual site in one of the files or something and get your whole entire course that goes deeper into it. All right. So now we can close it out. But as you can see, it create is creating lesson one or whatever. All right. So what would you do since they don't like AI voices or whatever? You would just go over to Canva or, or Microsoft or any place that allows you to do slides or something. I'm pretty sure you guys have experience on Canva. So then you just open up the presentation tab on Canva that will allow you to speak as you go through the slides. It's very simple. And you just paste lesson one. Read it. Lesson two, read it. Now, there are um, AI voice uh, websites that are getting very good, like Eleven Labs and stuff. But just to be safe that you're not just going out here and doing this for nothing and uploading and not getting approved, it'll only take you a, a little while to go through this course. Or you can go on Fiverr and hire a voiceover person. But the whole point is you didn't even have to write this information. GPT-4 did it. So this is awesome. Uh, on top of that, you don't even have to be an expert because GPT-4 is pulling from all of the training that it has in order to do it. So this is just lesson one. All right. So you'll have lesson two, three, four, five, six. OK, so now for the next niche. And then hopefully you can use. Uh, my ideology to find other niches on here. Or you can just uh, ask chat GPT, what are niches uh, related to numerology? What are niches related to spirituality coach or something like that? Blah, blah, blah. And it'll give you a list of other ones. And remember, don't pick the ones that are fact-based. Don't pick the ones where people are looking for uh, accredited experts for real for real you know even though this is accredited yeah right okay don't pick nothing like a personal trainer or something or a dietitian or something where a person could get hurt if your advice is wrong or something choose something opinionated all right um you know how to be a be one of the best authors a book author or how to be a poet or something like that's opinionated because anybody can give you advice on that if they wrote a book, but that doesn't mean they're right. But if uh, the, the searcher decides to take the information, that's up to them, but it doesn't hurt you for putting that information out. Do y'all understand? Okay. I asked you if you understand, like I was live, I go live a lot. But anyway, so this one is another niche. So the first one was new, uh, numerology and this one is spirituality coach diploma. Yeah some fake stuff but guess what this is what you'll learn so you'll tell gpt this okay so i'm creating a spirituality coach course and this is what people will learn you'll paste this into gpt uh and then guess what you'll tell gpt these are all of the lessons i need you to create lessons for each of these and do it in a slides format for my presentation okay and gpt will do it but remember Make sure that you are uh, telling GPT to write it in a specific manner. Don't just say, GPT, create me a course on this. Or, GPT, give me, give me uh, you know, a lesson on spirit guide meditation, because then it might pull from other people's stuff. 
You need to make sure they write it in the tone of Gandhi or something like that. I don't know, you know, because spirituality, right? I guess, right? Write it in the tone of Gandhi or some type of Buddhist, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like use uh, the lingo and, and the uh, the terminology of people in this field. Like go ahead, go deep with it, pause. You understand what I'm saying? So then we can go to this one. Watch this. I'm, I'm, this is just off the top of the dome. If you if you new to this channel, man, and you ain't went on ahead and did the tiger upper cut to the like button or the subscribe, I don't know what's going on with you, but check this out. Here we go. Look at this. Learn Vedic astrology. I don't even know what Vedic or Vedic astrology is, but that mug got 2000 something. All right. And it's ranking right here. This is a bestseller. So if I'm going to choose one to uh, duplicate is course outline. All right. Like, remember, the scripture, the Bible says, let all your ways be established. That means proven. So what I'm going to do is a giant freaking wasp trying to get up in here. Boy. But anyway, what, what I would do is I would suggest that people are sitting here trying to learn these specific things. They did their homework, which is why they got some good sales. So this one is an even newer one. Look at this. It's 2022, not that long ago, and it has 10,097 freaking students. So this one would be the one that I will go ahead and say, all right, maybe it's something to this one, okay? And then look, remember, you'll just paste this, what they're going to learn into GPT. All right, GPT, I'm about to have you create a course for me. This is what they're going to learn in there in this astrology course. You paste that in and then you tell GPT to type yes if you understand. And then it'll type yes. OK, and then you just say, OK, GPT, this is the first lesson. Blah, blah, blah. OK, what's the difference between Vedic astrology and Western uh, astrology? Learn at least 10 differences that exist between Vedic and Western. That will be super simple. You just open up chat GPT. Watch this. Watch this, baby. Watch this, baby. It's not that difficult, baby. All right. So, uh, well, we'll use this one because it's faster. Okay. <clears throat> Give me at least 10 differences between Vedic and Western astrology. Uh, use real life examples that the main, that the masses might understand use uh, um, movie references if they apply watch this man this is freaking crazy listen listen baby listen so now it's giving us 10 it's giving us 10 freaking examples or differences between Vedic astrology and Western astrology. Now, keep in mind, I'm a man of God. Um, I believe in the most high. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So I don't believe in none of this astrology, idolatry, and all of this extra stuff. I'm just showing y'all some niches that would work on you to me that you don't need a diploma or degree for. You don't have to have uh, be accredited. You don't um, have to use AI voice for or nothing. Like I said, you can hire somebody for super cheap on Fiverr or you can go on uh, uh, Groupon. I mean, not Groupon in a Facebook group and offer somebody uh, a, co a commission based, you know, what I'm saying to go ahead and voice over or you can take the little knothead brother a cousin in your house that's always begging you for money anyway and put them to work you understand and make them be commission based all right if you don't feel like voicing it over or you can take a day that you free have gpt create all of these freaking courses in mass and then go and upload them mugs man you do the voiceover don't be lazy right because at least you didn't have to come up with the content right all right so go ahead and do an unbox tony john knee kick to the subscribe button, you understand what I'm saying? And start putting this together, like challenge yourself. How many of these courses can you come out with? Like I would go ahead and dominate these specific niches. You understand? Like just because you created one course in this niche doesn't mean you can't create a volume two, a volume three, a volume four, a volume five. Like do it like the Avengers, you understand? And if you want to create a preview, you can, you know, be as close to to them as possible without copying, okay? Be unique, be you to be unique. Okay, I close that off.
I don't know if they got that copyrighted, but it's very simple. And as you can see, they have a description. So you can feed all that to GPT as well before you uh, have it create the course. So just to recap, you want to uh, tell GPT that you are creating an astrology course and this is what they're going to learn. This is a deeper description of it. You paste that in our feed that to it. Ask GPT if it understands. If it understands, press uh, type yes. Once it says yes, then you open up another tab for Canva. Go into the presentation section of Canva. And then you go back to GPT and give GPT each question one by one and tell them to create a lesson that will be easily readable and easily understandable for anybody that takes this course one by one, one by one, one by one. Put the correct prompts in there that I talked to you about in here and just fill it up, man. Fill it up and then go ahead and kill it. All right. Love y'all.